There are major developments today in the trial of Metro Police Officer David Bassard. First, a livid judge has scolded IMPD officers for their communication about testimony in the case. And breaking this afternoon, another juror out after telling the judge he has had job-related issues. Now, this leaves just one alternate juror left. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt is in Fort Wayne. For the first time in this eight-day trial, we got a glimpse at the temper of Superior Court Judge John Serbeck, and his anger was directed at the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department. The judge erupted the first thing in the morning session when the bizarre lawyers raised an issue that was brought to their attention late last night by the state's lead prosecutor. It was revealed that a member of the police department who had been sitting in on the case had been sending back daily email summaries of witness testimony to the command staff. Who sent the damn emails, the judge wanted to know. The state identified the guilty party as Major Greg Biebrick. He was immediately put on the witness stand and questioned about what officers were in the distribution loop. Biebrick identified Chief of Police Rick Height, the Deputy Chief of Investigations, and the head of IMPD's Professional Standard Unit, among others. The fear is that those witness summaries may have been forwarded to any of the dozens of IMPD officers who are still scheduled to testify in the trial. Judge Serbeck said, quote, this is as bad as anything I've heard about the Metropolitan Police Department. And he added for emphasis, I've heard a lot of bad things about IMPD. Prosecutor Terry Curry tried to downplay the seriousness of the situation. There's no indication at this point that anything that was done tainted any of the testimony. And even if there's a separation of witnesses, it doesn't preclude uh, uh, any witness from, from reading accounts. Obviously, jurors can't read accounts of what's going on, but there, there's nothing that would preclude a witness from doing that. And so again, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, this may be much ado about nothing. The police department and the city's information services agency are trying to track down the email threat of all the recipients. It remains to be seen what impact it will have on the bizarre case. In Allen County, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Get the latest developments in this trial sent straight to your cell phone through the RTV6 app. To download, use iTunes, Google Play, or use the links online at theindychannel.com.